Hello everybody, my name is Phoenix Ark, and today we're, I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom skin on any of the old Legacy editions of Minecraft. Now, this is a new set of tutorials that I'm coming out with just to mm, update them, I guess. Uh, as well as a new program that I'm introducing called the Phoenix Arc Modding Toolkit. Very simple right here. You can go ahead and add whatever tools you need. Um, today we'll be going with at, uh, to use PCK Studio. Okay, there we go. Now, all we're going to do is go ahead and make a new skin. Now, very simple, right after this, create skin. Autogen, for the easiest. Um, where's the tutorials? There they are. Skins, this is just a template skin that I selected. You can go ahead and add a like skin name. We'll just add, say, skin1. You don't have to put skin1, but it can be whatever you want. Now, theme name is what you see below. Uh, on mashup packs, you usually see that. Uh, or sometimes it just says the name of the pack. We'll go ahead and just put test1. You can select Steve or Alex. I believe this is a Steve model skin, so I mean, I can just put that in. Create skin, and just like that, you have your skin pre-made. Now, what you want to do after that is go ahead and click on localization. IDS display name is the actual name of the skin pack. Now, these are all different languages. Um, I believe this one's Czech. I, don't know what that one is. I believe this one's Dutch, or not Dutch, German. I honestly don't know. I was never good with language codes. But that's what this up here is for. Go ahead and put whatever name you want. Now, it doesn't have to be this, but, I mean, it's up to you. Go ahead and replace all. Okay. And, finally, the most important part is to set a pack ID that is not 000. zero, zero. Now, this can be whatever you want. 7293, for example. Perfectly valid. Now... We'll just go ahead and let's say we want to protect this to keep other people from getting in here. We can go ahead and add a med... Okay, yeah, it's already in here. Perfect. Okay. Now what we want to do is just add a password. Now... This will just be pa he uh, password hello123. Lock that. And the best part about this is it's hashed. So... You can only get in into this with your actual password. Nobody else can look at this and say, okay, yeah, that, that says hello123 on it. Now, you, you would need the original password to do that. Now, let's just go ahead and open PCK Center. I'll give a quick rundown of what that is. You, it takes a second to load. Yes, there we go. Ah, yeah, first time loading it up with the uh, modding studio. So, that's why it's like that. Now, as you can see here, you have a whole bunch of packs to choose from. Now, let's just say that you want to check out the new ones.
fairly simple. We'll just go ahead and go for four five six two five W twenty nineteen skin pack by Ronan Bami. Download to collection. It'll go ahead and open up, and you can save this now. I've saved it to the desktop right there. Now we can save this if we want. Skin123, it'll save it as skin123.pck. Now, let's just go ahead. Oh, right. It's only on the open. can see a bunch of skins as they are. Now let's go back and check out the password on that one pack. Ah, this pack is locked. Well, um, HHH, incorrect password. Wonderful. Now let's see what happens whenever we put in the actual password. Remember that is Hello, one, two, three. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And that's pretty much the basics of it all. I mean, I don't actually have a Wii U to install it to, nor do I have a PS Vita, but even that's a work in progress. Um, you can go ahead and convert it to Bedrock. Save it as an MC pack file for Bedrock users. The Wii U uh, installer is pretty straightforward. Now, if you were to go on to, say, PS3, all you would need to do is create a new folder. Should I should have a copy around here somewhere. Keep... Uh, V3 pads, and go ahead and put it in dev hdd0, game, whatever your title ID is, user, DLC, throw it in, and then once you load up the game, it'll go ahead and load it up. Now, that's pretty much it for the in, for this video so uh thank you guys for watching it's been fun and have a good time modding